Hey guys, Clumsy here. Welcome back to Clumsy Trucking Friday. How's everyone doing? Thank you for joining. Glad to see some uh, usual suspects and some new faces. Early birds. Or am I just late? I'm a bit I'm a tad late. Not too bad. How's everyone? Let's turn on the telemetry in there before I forget later. Thanks for joining, guys. Welcome back to the stream. Baba was unofficially first. I saw his message, but I was still uh, in uh, installing the wheel and everything. <laughs> but officially, it's Ark for today. Followed very, very closely by Scotsman. How are you guys doing? Thank you for joining. Hey, Patrick. Train conductor hype. How's everyone doing? Sorry, I've been a bit uh, invisible the past few days. <laughs> I have been immersed in the Diablo world. Oh my goodness, loving that game. And yes, let us talk about 1.42 open beta. Looks like it's going to be pretty interesting. But we're not trying it today. Not yet. Not ready to jump in yet there, but let's discuss it for sure. Right? Thank you for joining. Hey Vasilis. Thank you for joining the stream. Welcome. Hope you are uh, hope you enjoy. Yeah. Hey Red you. Thanks for joining as well. Glad to have you here. Which sim, sim wheel will you need to get? Uh, what do you guys recommend? I have only tried the Logitech G27. I have not tried any other wheel. So I'm a bit limited with that, with that uh, recommendation. But uh, yeah, I'm all very nice with Logitech stuff. <clears throat> hey Alex. How are you man? Were you with Jack with the uh, ghost hunting? I wasn't able to join again. Wasn't able to. I was busy. <laughs> hey Slider, how are things or have you been driving? Just for that you're not getting my mod. What mod? Gimme. What mod was that? Is that the paint job or is that the uh, classic logo? Yeah, I love that classic logo. Well done guys. I think I'm still using the old version, right? Is there a newer one? It'll not switch to 142 quickly. Yeah, me neither. It will be pretty buggy. I'll leave that to the experts for the bug fixing and the uh, investigations. One thing I wanted to try today, guys. Well, you, you probably knew it was coming. Ark definitely called it. Uh, I definitely wanted the uh, to try the classic interior sounds from Zmod. That's at the top of my list. What else did I want to try? I wanted to try the DD60 in combination, right? <clears throat> and I wanted to try, finally, I remembered it. Uh, let me show you what I have here. Should be that one right there, I think. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> it was. <laughs> Has anyone tried 142 yet? Yeah, let's discuss it. G27 or G29, if you can find something with an affordable price, go ahead. Or Thrustmaster T150 or T300RS, there you go. Recommendations right there. Hope that helps, read you. Depends on what's available locally. Haven't seen the mod in Discord. Did you just post it? Um, oh, the Clus Me thing. Wow, are you actually going getting into Blender now? My goodness. Climbing up the modding ranks in there. I'll uh, definitely be keeping an eye on that. Hey, drive safely. Thanks for joining, man. Hasib, how are you? Doing good, doing good. I am doing good. Couldn't really watch Jack's ghosting. Late day at work. Oh, hope everything's fine. Hope you're working on something nice. Something interesting. And uh, looking forward to your water blocks. Not yet, not yet there. Eagerly anticipating that build. It's been a long time coming, right? Uh, what I wanted to try here, actually, it would be easier to check the mods list. Exclamation point mods gets you here. What I am sharing, more or less. Let's go to the ATS tab. You'll notice I have some new things and some hints. If you're not familiar with this mods list, this is what I maintain personally. Mainly for myself, <laughs> I'm a bit selfish that way, so that I don't uh, forget to 
to keep track of what I have, which version I have, which mods I have. And also at the same time, I'm sharing it with you guys. So it's easy to keep track of everything. And a bit of a hint, normally the latest mods I enable or I activate or I buy are here at the bottom of each of the lists. So they have one section each, right? If you look at the bottom of the list, normally, why do I have Project Next Gen USA in there? Oh, that's outdated. Yeah, it's not 100% accurate. Let's update that. So you'll see here is the FL Classic Interior and FX Sound Pack. Right, that's the latest uh, one I bought from Zmods. And what I wanted to try was this guy. Finally, finally, right? I'm not sure if you can see it. it might be a bit too small, but I'll, I'll uh, speak it out just so you won't have to read it. Daniel's Random Events. I finally had the chance to download it. So let's try it out today. And I wanted to check it, the, the site, because it has some nice information on what it has. You guys have been trying this out, some of you. I'm trying it out for a while. Version 1.2 now. It's very promising. Let me zoom in a bit. Let me catch up with chat in the meantime. Waterblock has been here for a couple of days. Ah, there we go. Where are you planning to assemble it? We'll be waiting for some fix, man. Good luck. Started yesterday. Today, you're releasing your new mod. Nice. That is amazing, Bao Bao. I'm looking forward to it. Awesome stuff. Goodness. Modding for the win. Been playing Train Sim World 2. Ah, that's great. Which uh, route are you driving? Nice. PS5. I would imagine G29 should, but uh, don't quote me on that. Might have to Google it a bit. Yeah, because, for example, the G27 only works on PC, I think, not even PS4, let alone PS5. One second, I missed someone. Uh... Ah, there we go. Hey, paranormal. Uh, can I call you Simple? I think Simple is easier. Hey Simple, thanks for joining the stream. Welcome back, man. Who's spam spamming the exclamation point uh, commands? Oh, Scott's one. <laughs> check, it out, check it out, guys. Get your own merch. Get your own CG mug through that link. There you go. Put coffee, put water, and it's guaranteed going to spill because it's a clumsy mug. What's a distro plate? Sounds like something you dance to. <laughs> but it's <laughs> sorry. Boston Rush Hour route. Anyway, so I wanted to try this one. Daniel's random events. So as the name implies, it adds a lot of random events, but how many and what types? So some accidents, some breakdown, recovery stuff, even asphalt. This is what I like actually. Asphalt patches and rain covers. Because this makes it very like the, the roads, it makes it less perfect, right? And uh, if you look at this, this is just mind-blowing. Over 250 different events. 250! <laughs> yes. Good luck to us checking all of that out. And here's the complete list. <laughs> Granted, many of them are like variants of each other. So each type has like four variants or whatnot. So 250 divided by four or something, still plenty. Don't ask me to do that math there. No worries, simple. Glad you're here. Uh, someone was asking me, 142, yes, yes. Uh, I am not trying 142 today, no way. It's going to be pretty unstable at the moment. We will let the hardcore guys check that first before we jump in because we need a stable game, right? We want a stable game if you want to stream. Unless you guys want to do a troubleshooting stream, then uh, I can go ahead and update now. <laughs> But yes, uh, we won't jump into that yet, but it is very promising. So let's talk about it in the meantime. Let's plan ahead what we're going to do with those updates. Right? Because the biggest update in 142 is the Convoy mod support. It's going to be amazing, guys. We will be having Z-Mod sounds, John the trucks, and we can be driving together. It's going to be amazing. And uh, I saw some announcements already. Some people, some of our modders have already added the things. Uh, one second. Hey, Matt. Thanks for the host. Um, 
Some modders have already commented on how they will support it or that they're planning to support it. Zmods is already looking into it, how he can make that the sounds can be heard. If you have a Zmod sound, that the other players will be able to hear your sound if they also have it, right? So it's not going to be like, they won't hear just default SES sounds. Because that's something that has to be updated in the mod as well. Probably some definition files in there, right? So we'll see how that works. Uh, we also have Reforma. Eblem already updated the patron. If you're a patron, he already updated the map for 142. So hopefully not a big change in terms of mod support, in terms of mod compatibility. But yes, some adjust adjustments will definitely be required. Yeah. First time doing water cooling. Oh, you have like a custom loop now. Nice. Pro mods. Random event slider all the way to the max. Actually, that's a good point. Maybe we should have huh, to check all of them out. That's a good point. Where would you guys place this? Is this placed at the bottom? I have no idea. Probably not. Maybe here. Above the maps. Let's put that there. Mm, and then we have the classic interior NFX pack. You replace some of the loud machinery ambient sounds so it will be safe to have world sli sound slider at 50%. Ah, thanks for the heads up. Drive safely. Yes, I remember I had to tone it down last stream. Thank you. Appreciate that. Rude double set uh, will also adjust if necessary. That is amazing. 107 mods, do we? Oh yeah, actually lose count of it. I just added one by one. We might need a new profile for a modded convoy, yeah, just to limit the number of mods we have to the bare essentials. Because uh, we, we, I, I guess we would want to strike a balance in there. We want to have the mods we what like, we really like, enabled to have that immersive experience, but at the same time, we want it to be accessible to other people, to our uh, bros for the convoy. So we don't want too many mods in there. Good. 70 mod limit for convoy in 142. Ah, I see, I see. I heard something. I saw some screenshots in Discord, in our Discord, and if you're not there yet, you are more than welcome to join. Exclamation point Discord gets you there. I saw that they were, what was it? Like there's like a mod processing, I think it was from JP. Like, you know how it is when you upgrade your phone if you have an Android phone and it's there has there the optimizing apps. So depending on the number of mods you have, even if you don't have them enabled, I think they will need to get processed. I'm not sure, but uh, that's what I saw. Maybe some of you tried it already. Copy your profile. Uh, maybe someone can help simple copying the profile. <clears throat> there you go. Thanks, Alex. All right, so let's do that. It's a good call. Let's max out the random events uh, over here. And then let's go ahead and set back the world sounds to 50%. Thank you for that uh, heads up. Drive safely. Looking good there. Okay, good. The process thing process all your mods enabled and not enabled. Is it a one time thing? I hope so. Maybe every major update like GPS recalculation. Hopefully. Uh, we want cargo market, but where's my trailer gone? Of course, we'll be driving with the Bart's Great Dane Everest in here. I have a silent trucking video coming out later, guys. It is oh, eargasmic. Yeah, that's true. Loading screen simulator with 70 mods. Thankfully, with ATS, that's not so much of a problem yet. But we'll see. Now I do want to head back to Pro to Pro Mods Canada because uh, maybe with 142 it will be unavailable for some time in the beginning. So I'd like to drive there. Oh, look at that! 
yeah that's typically what it recommends right that route there with the, the Oregon Trail <laughs> that one with the dangerous um, do I want to head that way let me see is there another route I wonder why it doesn't want me to go through Idaho yeah even here even if going to Penticton it goes through there and not via Idaho maybe because of the roads here not going too fast well we can try it we can try it pelleted animal food Surrey is it Surrey Penticton hmm butter sounds like a job for our chilled uh, for our reefer don't know if that's a one-time thing I see fun having Zmod sounds in your ear so you guys could have the you guys tried the convoy already with Zmod sounds it worked that's amazing okay let's get butter in here pro mods rust map pro extended and some other maps yes I can imagine has anyone tried road to Asia guys I might want to try road to Asia soon eventually I had someone reach out to me from their team told me about the map but I'm not sure if we'll uh, come to an agreement if they'll give me early access or not but uh, regardless I can still try the public release in case they don't want to anyway here it is let's hear the DD60 again oh perfect timing Jack here we go DD60 for you have you tried have you bought this yet Jack because it, this is compatible with your favorite FLB both the engine sounds and the interior sounds are compatible with FLB. Lovely. <clears throat> Reefer sound add-on. Yes, I did. I have, but it's not compatible with an own trailer, which we are driving. So unfortunately, it won't work. Drive safely reminded me of that. Jack has been Z'd. <laughs> awesome man awesome <laughs> yeah the interior sounds are amazing there you go let's hear some of the goodness now does anyone know of the BSA Freightliner Classic because this is John Ruda's Freightliner Classic the BSA I'm not familiar with it is that payware is that uh... hey Caves thank you for the raid welcome Caves viewers Caves raid there we go Thank you guys for joining. Perfect timing, actually. We're just starting off. Goodness. That's a fun party. And all the switches are working, animating, and they have sounds. Amazing. The only one that doesn't have an animation is the Jake break levels, the engine break levels. Start with level one. All right. Mod support for Convoy in the beta. Yes, indeed. Have you guys been trying it out already? Now, where's that job? Three miles. Okay. Let's make sure we drive safely. Right? Drive safely. Welcome, everyone. Already in the FLB2. Nice. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I still remember popping by Jack's stream one time. He was driving ATS, I think, in ATS. And he was driving the FLB. And uh, it was such an amazing experience on the ears. And that was when we didn't have Z mod yet in the picture. That was the default DD60 sounds, but that already caught me. But now with this level of the, the standard just keeps rising, right? It's amazing. The rev limiter effect. Is it this one? That one. That is pretty cool. Driving safely is important. <laughs> hey, Teddy. Pumpkin. How are you guys? That one.
that's interesting. I don't know how a rev, a rev limiter works. I guess I know what it does, right? I guess the name kind of implies it. But I don't know how it works under the hood. And let me try to float here as much as possible. Because the, now with this the gear shifting sounds, the uh, floating gears is much more fulfilling. And when you get it wrong, which I do get wrong in the silent trucking video coming out later in YouTube, the, even the wrong sounds, the gear grinding sounds are not that bad. It's, they're not cringy. They just, they're not as crisp. They're not as, um, how do you say? You know that you've done something wrong and you want to correct it, but it's not like, it won't, scre it won't screech your ears or something along those lines. You buy Z mod sound for ATS2 Volvo. Oh, yeah, that's an amazing one. I have that too. The burble is so good. What is the burble? Hello, Alan. Where is Alan? Yeah, sleeping. He couldn't sleep by the uh, dashboard. Not enough space. But he's happily sleeping on the seat. Very cushy. Really unique gear shifting sound, something rattles, and it's not um, consistent, right? There's a bit of randomness in there. Speaking of randomness, keep your eyes peeled, guys, because I want to uh, see how the random events look like. Yeah, there, something rattles indeed. That's the sound when you don't shift properly. It's kind of looking for that opening in the, in the gearbox. Beautiful. Yeah, there's Alan. There's Alan. Rex is somewhere. Oh crap, I'm on the wrong lane. Sorry. Whoops, kind of occupied. <laughs> All three lanes. No, just two. Just two this time. Yeah, the Rex is somewhere there. Yeah, still. Uh, hmm. Is he being punished or he just wants the guitar? We'll see. Hey, Cellabones. I am thinking of trying it out eventually. Just not today. Yes, maybe next week. Yeah, maybe next week would be nice. Maybe it would add more stability by then. I would expect a couple more patches to come in over the following days. Happy October, by the way, guys. Oh, it's not October yet for everyone, but some of you. It's October already. Goodness, time flies, huh? <clears throat> oh, by the way, guys, yes, I have an announcement. I'll announce it more officially, but uh, yeah, I, I won't be streaming on Wednesday. I'll try to stream on Thursday instead. But yes, I will. I am having a day off on Wednesday. It's uh, Mrs. Clumsy's special day. <laughs> so I'm taking the day off so we can have quality time. So Wednesday, no stream. The usual time for the usual day for flights, flight sim. Uh, we'll move that one day later instead. <laughs> Mrs. Clumsy likes that plan. <laughs> Quality time is important indeed. Thank you, Caves. Appreciate that. Thanks for the raid again. <laughs> Goodness. How have you been doing, Zellabones? Have you tried 142 yet? Let's get back to 142 topic. Yes, who, who has tried it already? Initial impressions. Ooh, where's that gear? There you go. I keep missing my stop. Sorry, guys. Still getting used to the the floating and the balancing. That's a beautiful sky. Good morning, everybody. It's October. There we go. It's October already there. Yes. Middle of the night. Also for Bao Bao, right? Yes. Very much so. What time is it there, Bao Bao? 3.30? Yikes. Hey, Lender. How are you? Thanks for joining. Thanks, Alex. <laughs> I'll pass along the message.
Yeah, the sunrise is beautiful. Yes, let's get back into Pro Mods Canada Country. Take some butter with us. 327. Oh my goodness. Ford F Max. Yes, definitely. You see a lot of peeps trying Ford F Max. That's great. Very nice sounds from Krishbom as well, right? Has that perfect European truck vibe. Great insulation, muffled sounds in the interior. And if you if you listen very closely, this caught me off. If you guys saw the previous videos in YouTube when we drove the Ford F Max in Pomizania, it caught me a bit because there are very subtle interior sounds in that Ford F Max. Dang it, this is I always get caught here. This is not the pickup point. The pickup point here in this place is hard. It's on the other side. I'll show you. Ooh, my gearbox. Rip. Um, yeah, it, it caught me quite a bit. There is a very subtle interior sound in the Ford F Max where it's like a very gentle cabin shaking. It was so gentle, so much so, that when I was recording that one time, that Pomizania episode, I thought Mrs. Clumsy was do scratching, doing something, uh, because Mrs. Clumsy's desk is at my back, right? And when I was recording, she was there. I thought she was like doing something, uh, opening something or scratching something. And then she left her desk and I could still hear the sound. It's like, then where's that coming from? <laughs> It's, it's apparently part of the cabin sounds from Ford F Max. My goodness, look at those mountains. Grand Teton, is it? Something like that. Let's see if this works. One second, let's have a look. Mexican horn. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. The horn is also custom. Let's go hear it. And this has an air horn. I think those two are both custom, right? I think. I hate this reverse. I hate this pickup point. And yet I still select it. One second. That doesn't look good, does it? Mm, let's reposition it better. Play them together as I sound like tag pipes. <laughs> Close enough. You like that normal horn. Very nice. Very nice. Hey, Frontin. How are you? Thanks for joining. Awesome. Glad to hear it, Trevor. Sorry, guys, huh? Just catch up a bit on the parking. I need to concentrate. Last time I did this, it took me like 15 minutes. This blindside reverse doesn't do well for me. Oh my goodness, no visibility there at all. Track I really helps in that case. And the Arfis mirror command so you can move your head. And you can see more of the side mirror. Okay, let's have a look outside. Let's go out of the truck. That's not bad. That's not bad. I think we need it a lot sharper, but yes, we can break it. Maybe not. <laughs> Dang it. Yeah, might have been a bit late. One Ruda, one Bart, one Z mod, you get 60. Yeah, that's a good question, Bao Bao. We will have to test it. So with 142, we will be able to use mods. So uh, we'll, we'll probably try that next week. Yeah, I think by next week, things have gotten a bit more stable. We can get into it. I can create a new profile and we can add minimal mods there and we can play together with the bros. Uh, we'll probably unlock that unlock that to the patrons and subs. So we can limit the... Because we have a limited number of players, right? How many number of players right now? 
What's the maximum number of players again? I haven't played Convoy in a while. Uh, uh, yeah, that looks better. Good. Eight, thank you. Okay. Yeah, so only eight. So we'll limit that to the bros. And then I'm thinking about the audio, guys, because um, it's a bit challenging when we have many people. I don't get to interact with chat anymore. And I'd like to interact with chat and uh, have voice chat, uh, voice comms with uh, the, the bros, right, while driving. It's a bit of hard balance. So we can approach this different ways. And you guys let me know what you think about it. One is... The simplest is I drive together with the bros but I won't have voice comms except for the CB radio maybe. So when something needs to be said, when something needs to be planned, when there's a great joke or a, uh, a, a punchline then they, they can use the CB radio. That's the simplest thing. So we can drive together. It's like you know, you know on our flight sim streams, like I'm flying and then anyone can fly with me. But the, the, in terms of interaction, I'm still fully engaged with chat. So that's, uh, that's the uh, simplest, I think. And then the next is having voice comms with the guys, with the bros. But maybe, I don't know, en enabling push to talk or something just, to, just so I can focus a bit more on the chat. Because with the more people there are in the convoy, the harder that will be to interact, continue interacting with chat. Oh, finally, it worked. Sorry about the delay. And let me try and catch up with chat. It's not too bad. We almost nicked that car there, but uh, I'll take it. Okay. Change engine to DD60 as soon as you clicked into it. It crashed on you. Is that in 142, Jack? Appreciate it, Caves. Thanks for the raid, man. Enjoy. Thanks for the well, well wishes for the missus. Awesome. Stay safe and take care indeed. One second, I wanted to double check something because we're carrying butter here. So we have to be sure that the reefer is working. Unfortunately, uh, yeah, the, the, the engine doesn't have the, the game doesn't allow those sounds from drive safely with an own trailer. Okay, that seems to be on, right? I think. I, ch I changed the unit to a Thermo King. Yes, Thermo King. Mm, that looks on. Oop. What does 2938 mean? Probably the temperature. I hope that's Fahrenheit and not Celsius. <laughs> if it's Celsius, we're doomed. <laughs> okay. 142. Ah, I see. Another mod that's doing it. I see, I see. Yeah, I think we'll have to wait for them. So by next week, we can try it. Yes, maybe we'll try. Hey, hey dog. Glad you made it, man. How are you? Any new purchases? <laughs> Love seeing your new purchases in Discord. I think Alex you found the bro there <laughs> for each of your classic trucks I think Grey Dog wants to try them out too so yes we'll try to do a convoy next week if you guys want to join right? um, if, if we have too many people we'll limit it to bros right? that's subs and patrons but if we have enough room then you can join but yes, we'll probably limit the voice. We'll probably use the CB radio, if any, just to limit it. We'll start there and we'll adjust as necessary. So if you want to go and join the convoy, then see you next week. Nothing today. <laughs> just today, yeah. The day is not quite over yet, yes. One finale for uh, September. Very nice gravel sounds. Oh crap, this rock I think will... Oh no, we missed it. Nice. Just a bad influence. 
I think Mrs. Dog would agree. <laughs> Any of the Harvin trucks work? Yeah, who has tried 142 here already? Hey, Grey Dog, thank you for four months, man. Goodness. You guys are too much. A sub and a patron. Thank you for the amazing support. FLB no Ah, interesting. That is interesting. I wonder what kind of changes are needed for truck mods to work. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Keep your eyes peeled for random events, okay? Edit the FLB version workshop to make it compatible. Ah, so it's basically you can't even enable it. That's level one of the Jake break. Later on, we'll uh, step it up more. So when there's a stop sign there, guys, in reality, let's let's go through this a bit. I'm bit uh, because I I'm pretty much um, I'm a Manila driver, right? So I don't know well about the regulations and stuff. That's lines are just decorations for the most part when you have a stop sign there and you have a pedestrian lane here i guess it would make sense that you stop before the pedestrian lane right because in the philippines this is what happens always always uh, this is how we park right before the stoplight that is how we park what pedestrian lane pedestrians can go around us right it's it's not a big deal but I guess it, it, it shouldn't be. Stop before the crossing. Okay, thank you. Yes. I have to teach myself to do that because by default I don't do it. Yeah. Technically, you are supposed to stop at the sign. So at the line? Or really at the sign? Ah. So, but that means being a over the pedestrian lane doesn't it is that okay by the way some tiltage for those who are, have been missing it <laughs> sorry sorry not sorry Let's turn right here at the actual sign itself oh interesting ah that's good to know because for me when i see a stop sign i stop at the line that's next to the stop sign. In some cases, those might be the same, but in some, they might not. It's good to know. Okay, so let's stop at the stop sign itself. Bro. Eltanic. Oh. 7.54? You want me to have my headlights on? What is the rule for headlights, guys, there in the US? When is it required to have your headlights on? Because what I'm used to is more of a common sense approach, you know, when it's dark, you turn on your headlights. When it's not, you turn them off. But uh, I'm not sure when it changes. Stopping point usually ends up being a judgment call. Okay. Vary from state to state. Ah. That is very... But for the most part, I guess there should be like a a general rule, a, a high level, how do you say, a basic thing. Oh my goodness, Patrick. Train conductor indeed. There we go. With Patrick's bits, started off the hype. <laughs> Patrick's bits started off the hype. Doesn't sound very good, but um, <laughs> thanks, Patrick. You are amazing. <laughs> Hey, repellent. Half hour before sunset. Oh. So it depends on the sunset. Hey, guys, we're 94% for level 1 hype train. Just nudge it a bit. Do the nudge. Wonder how many bits that will take. Half an hour before, before sunset, but since the sunset changes and having four seasons in many of the areas i would imagine the sunset varies quite a bit 
so you would have to know when it is so, but basically when it gets dark right when it starts getting dark in this kind of this kind of picture in reality would you have your headlights on is it required not very familiar with that kind of uh, regulation and I want to minimize the use of my headlights because it hurts my FPS. Grishbom released a sound. Oh, what is it? Was it the C15? I think I saw that, but I haven't tried it yet. Nice floating gears. Yeah, I'm trying. And as I say that, I start grinding the gears. <laughs> there we go, floating the gears down. Floating the gears down for me is harder than floating the gears up. By the way, I had to remove the Volvo VNL 2018 from Galimim because I was getting stutters occasionally, and I had a, I had a, sus uh, I suspected that mod because it adds the Volvo VNL to the traffic, right? And that's not a, an optimized model because that came from. Uh, from uh what's his name oh what's his name guys frank peru there we go frank peru and uh it's not optimized for traffic normally so i think it's the one causing my stutters but we'll, let's observe it <clears throat> oh this truck photo bomber yeah let's get a nice shot there oh that's not bad at all yeah your ears Didn't look dark enough. Might be a bit with the lighting, huh? Yeah, maybe there's some desync between the lighting and the sunset in the game. There you go. Thanks, Alex. Canada. Going through Oregon this time. I don't like that part of Oregon, to be honest. That very windy interstate. Forgot which one it was. But I just remember that's not clumsy proofed at all. Last time I checked, there was no the, those yellow signs that warn you of the recommended speed for the curb. Somebody fishing. Oh my goodness, there we go. We made it. And Patrick saves the day. Thank you, man. Hi. Thank you. And welcome back to the Bro Zone, Hasib. Thanks, Patrick. <laughs> Appreciate that. Hey, is this one of those random events? Maybe. Yeah. Looks like, look at looks like it. Oh, we just passed a, an asphalt like. Or... One second, one second. We passed something. Sorry. We need to stop in the middle of the road here and on the wrong lane. But I felt something as we passed through. This guy, I think. Yeah, this might be part of the random event, right? Yeah, it's, it's, if you look closely enough, it's floating. It's not really part of the road. So when we went through it, I felt that bump. Very nice. It's part of Daniel's random events. Cool. <laughs> In this case, Vasilis, I think it's normally... You know the quote, ask and you shall receive? I think here it's usually the opposite. There's that's one random event again. I like it. I like it. Here I think usually when you, when you don't ask for it and you just continue to be active in the discussions, someone eventually gifts you a sub. Man, I love this bend. And yes, these uh, these bumps. <laughs> Very nice. I like it. Just don't look close enough because you'll see them floating up above the road. Yeah, this guy. And couple that with the interior sound effects we have. It makes everything much better. Oh, come on. Where's the way station? Turn right, US 26. Okay. Is it here? Turn right at signals. Okay. Turn right at the signals, is it? I hope I'm not missing this. US 26, that's the one. Okay, US 26 West, alright. So we stop here. 
this is a very interesting junction. It's the the sensor for telling it to go via the way station is so far from the actual way station. The only problem with the random events is it puts sewer covers in the middle of nowhere. Not realistic. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, if you start analyzing it like that, then yes, that's true. Some of them might not be realistic anymore. When would you, where would you normally see sewers? The plates. Only in cities, supposedly, but not in interstates, maybe? <clears throat> oh, this guy's not turning right. I'll have to wait for him. Just draw. <laughs> Who knows, right? Hey, Sylvia. Thanks for joining the stream. Welcome. You were going from Colorado to San Fran. Figured take smaller roads to discover them. Colorado to San Francisco. Let me try and imagine. So from east to west ish. Okay. They didn't look that small. But you ended up in gravel roads. The sound it makes when you shift correctly. Ah. Best reward for floating gears properly. Outside your farm. <laughs> That's true. Sewer so covers usually only in cities or areas very close to cities. Ah, yes, that makes sense. I hope he can refine that further. One second. Uh, this way, okay. This is where we enter. Okay. There it is. Oh. This one hit anything, thank you. Almost missed this. I almost forgot that we had to stop at the way station. Alpine Junction. Very nicely done. Very immersive. FLC by XPS. Oh yeah, XPS is Prux. Amazing classics and very well optimized. That's my only wish for this Freightliner classic. That it's more optimized. That's why I was asking about the BSA Freightliner classic. Does anyone know about it? Someone might have answered already and I missed it. Can you answer me again? There we go, level one high train. Thank you guys for helping out. I think it was I think Patrick single-handedly conducted and drove the train. <laughs> Thanks, Patrick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Appreciate that. There you go. Uh, one second. Serpentine roads that would make even the Alps roads jealous. Pitch black. Oh my goodness, that sounds scary. You've done that too. Thought to myself. Well. <laughs> Where is that? One second. Let's see. That's an ATS, right? Colorado to um, Colorado to San Francisco. So somewhere here to San Francisco would be here. So indeed, east to west. And you would have some smaller roads. Where? Here on San Francisco side, maybe? Here for Reforma? Might be. Patrick level hype train, indeed. <laughs> Started in Rangli. Ah. Driving four hours in ETS2. From Thessaloniki. Thessaloniki to Helsinki. Yeah, nice. Best experience ever. My goodness. Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. Very immersive experience. Yeah, all these all these asphalts are very nice. Definitely adds variety to the to the roads. Man, this looks great. One second. Let's take a photo here. I'm imagining this. A shot from the back. A bit tilted, of course. And a bit windy. Would be a very good shot. There it is. So just remove the blur. Add a bit of tilt. For drama, lessen the field of view, go back a bit, and voila, you have yourself a very nice bendy route. Uh, maybe let's show a bit more of the truck. Like so. We'll take it. Mm. 
went east and a little north. Scenic route, much to see. Ah, uh, good find, good find. And let's just like that. We're in Idaho already. Oh, so I, I thought we were passing through uh, Utah. Apparently not. This goes direct to Idaho. Oh yeah, that's right. Because uh, we're, we started in Jackson. That connects to Idaho. If you go west, not Utah. Makes sense. Makes sense. Hey, thank you for the bits, Bao Bao. Thanks for cheering up. Cheering up the stream. Man, this looks great. Sorry, I cannot resist. <laughs> Idaho has some of these. Oh, there's even a sailboat there. Look at that. This might be a nice thumbnail. More bits. Awesome stuff, man. So, BSA, rate liner. Hasib tried it. It's pretty good. Ah, I see. Mm, but it's on the mod site. It's free. That's not a leaked version. Is it freeware, the BSA one? Because I'm looking for a Freightliner classic that's optimized. The best case scenario is having the John Ruda kind of customization, but being optimized like XBSs. Man, that looks great. And the color of the water, that greenish color. So nice. Scenic overlook ahead, indeed. You saw it? It's a great screenshot, thank you. Sometimes you get lucky with all the screenshots that we take. <laughs> Some of them uh, turn out nice. No more bites. Sell your class me mod. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Freeware. Ah, I see, I see. Okay. Catching up. Chat above. This would look good with the early autumn mod. Oh, yeah, that's true. I haven't tried it yet. For ATS. Is that updated for ATS too? Then I should probably switch to, huh? Does it cover Wyoming now? Although, probably not. I think it would need a bit more updating for Wyoming, huh? So much vegetation, so much new vegetation in there. So all those sewers that we are driving through right now, those are not realistic in this kind of road, is it? Asphalt ones look believable, the asphalt patches at least. There you go. Share the link here. Uh, yes, I think you, sh you can. You have a, you're a sub now, so you should be able to, Nightbot shouldn't uh, filter you out anymore. Look at that view, guys. Beautiful. Automod has been updated for ATS. There's a small patch for Wyoming. Oh, that was fast. No, those sewers wouldn't be there. Ah, oh, I see, I see. Yeah, they did look a bit off. I wish you could uh, filter them out. That might be a technical limitation though, I can imagine. Because maybe you can't really differentiate between the type of roads. But maybe you should because for example, you know, the, the random event with the spouting sewer the water all spouting out I think that only happens in cities right so if he can do the same in for those sewers then he should be more or less okay uh huh author of the USA classic okay good you tried it before what's your uh, impression on it BSA Classic versus John Ruda Classic. Look all the sewers artistic license, yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll bite, we'll bite. Uh, for me, the sewers aren't such a big deal. What is a bit 
mm, off-putting for me. I like the uh, the the number of patches, and I guess we can control that by the the random event slider, right? We can, we're getting plenty of them because we maxed out the slider, but um, they're a bit floaty. They're a bit floaty, mac float. If you look close enough, you'll see them floating on the road. I'm not sure if I'm liking it so much. Maybe it's just because I'm on the lookout, so I'm noticing them more. But they don't look very flat on the ground at the moment. Floating like a pro. And then I missed it. <laughs> oh crap, I think I went to the wrong lane. My bad. Your stock with Alex decided to go with the 210 USD as a price. The text in color. <laughs> the class me on. You should be paying me for that. <laughs> Goodness. I'm sacrificing what reputation I have left <laughs> with that, that class me thing. Where, where is that class me thing going to be placed in? Where is that in front of the grill of the classic, or where are you planning to place it? It's interesting. And it's not just the texture; it's actually a 3D model. My goodness. Grimes Autumn mod. Another classic by Chess, but it looks kind of strange. Uh, Oh crap, lost my, this is the problem, you're floating and you get lost, you're not sure where to go, which gear to go to anymore, the only thing that will save me is the clutch. <clears throat> Grimes early autumn mod, nice, maybe we can try that after, oh, I, would, I was going to say after one job, but this job is pretty long, huh? Which reminds me, you have to cut it into parts so so that YouTube uh, processing will not be bad. So I think we can stop here for the first part, right? We can stop there for the first part, somewhere up there. And then we can try out the early autumn mode. And then we'll uh, see if we like the view. There you go. Thanks, Asib. Black site area is what BSA stands for. Ah, I see, I see. So did anyone give a first impression? Did I miss that? Has anyone tried the BSA Classic XL? How does it compare with John Ruda's Classic? My goodness. Now that's a random event. Yikes. Oh, oh, oh. He's going to do the same to me. Let's give him some space. Is that a fire truck? It is. It's yellow in Idaho. Huge sign in the back of the Bart step deck. Ah. <laughs> Alright, I'll wait for it. Wow, wow. Looking forward to it, man. Amazing idea. Well, I still have those stutters. Yikes. Wonder what introduced them. Did Daniel float those covers and bumps so they would actually be felt? Ah. Uh -huh. That is a very interesting point. So it might be... You know what? I'm not sure. Yeah, does anyone know about modding enough to uh, make sense of that? How do you make a physical object in the, in the game? Like if you want the Bucket of Doom, if you want to recreate the Bucket of Doom, for example. I would imagine it's a different thing. The 3D model itself is different from the collision box. You know, you can make a thing this small, but the collision box is this big. So that means you have like an invisible wall surrounding that object. I think that's possible. And if that's the case, then he wouldn't need to float it off the ground 
just so it will be felt. He would just need to increase that collision box. Now I know it very limited. I know it very limitedly, so that might all be wrong. But feel free to fact check me there. Whoa! Find that gear. There you go. Decent modifications. Oh, nice. Maybe I should try it out. In terms of optimization, is it good? Uh, good freeware, classic Excel. Thanks, Ark. Bit more optimized than Rudas cause. Okay. I see, I see. So it might be better optimized but less customizations. Makes sense. Okay. The reformer team doesn't do that for their bridge joints. Yeah. I think it's more... Hmm, not sure what the reason is. But I remember this mod that we had before. I remember this... Um, how do you say? No floating symbols mod. And what it did was to replace those floating symbols with a sewer plate. And I remember there was a problem with that sewer plate that sometimes you wouldn't see the sewer plate so you wouldn't know where the pickup point was. Because it was under the road, it was beneath the road. Maybe he raised it, he raised these things, so that it would never be under the road. So maybe he's uh, a bit conservative with it. He raised it more so that it would always be there. Maybe, I don't know. That might be a good question to ask in the forums. I'll uh, have a look at the forums and see if someone asked something similar. DB Creation did it with their environment as well. They don't see any marks on the road, but you feel the bumps. Oh, I see. So they just added the collision boxes, like maybe, like that? But no actual physical representation of them autumn wyoming fix mod download backed up and installed nice grimes is super fast huh and trust alex to know about that thanks alex let's try it out afterwards Gear. I, I always miss it. The, the fifth to fourth gear is what throws me off a lot. One more random event. What are they doing there? Are they towing the UPS truck? Maybe? Okay, let's stop here. Uh, do we need refuel? Where's my fuel level? Half tank. Yeah, why not? I want to pull a Rizlag. How good is Reforma? It's very nice. It also covers Mexico. Now, granted, to be honest, the, some of the Mexico areas I'm not a big fan of. Some of them are a bit old and not very well optimized. Um, but yeah, the US parts and the newer parts of Mexico, I think I really like. Yeah, one of the best maps for ATS, ATS2, definitely. And yes, Reforma should be compatible now for the patrons. There should be an update now for 142. So fast. And for everyone else, I think it will be made public when 142 gets to official release. Convoy in the quarry. <laughs> oh yeah. But that might be... Mm, that might get too close to the game that shall not be named. Not sure if you guys like that. I thought you guys had enough of that game. <laughs> okay, let's park here and then uh, try it out. Is that the Peterbilt dealer? Interesting. 
can see it. Kirken is uh, not in MP, I think. I think I've tried it once. Mine runner. Those sounds are amazing as well. Let's just maybe park here. Sorry to that guy in the middle who's trying to park there. We just blocked it. Alright, good. Let's end part one here. <laughs>